what is up you guys so i know that i've been gone but i am back again you guys so let's go ahead and get started and update these countertops so if you want to see how we go from this to this right here in under fifty dollars you guys want to make sure that you stay tuned let's hop right on into this video you don't want to miss it all right you guys so this is where we left off with the kitchen so if you have not checked out that content make sure you just go a couple of videos back and you guys will see how we got to this point okay so don't mind the cleaning stuff over there that's my painter's tape you guys i'm gonna explain all this very shortly all right so what you guys remember if you guys have tuned in um i went ahead and i painted the top cabinets white and i did the bottom cabinetry a dark gray a charcoal gray and i also went ahead and i did the um handles on every cabinet in here which made a dramatic freaking change might i say okay but where we were leaving off at you guys is we were trying to figure out what we are going to do with the countertop what is a way that we could save money with the countertop right so you can always replace it but my kitchen the countertops wrap is is it's a lot of countertops so what i was thinking was what is a cost effective way that i can try to basically update this but you know what i'm saying like on a budget because i know everybody wants to know what to do on a budget let me show you guys a little bit closer so when we got this house this is the countertop that it came with um i do like like i said in a prior vlog it does have gray like little sparkles in here or spackles of gray in here which is awesome the only issue that we had a problem with is this part <laughs> which is the edge okay now you can take it off and probably add a new one but this one looks like it was actually um it came with the countertop like it's basically one so there's no way i'll be able to take this off i don't think i can if i can just go ahead and shoot it down below and then one of my um subscribers or i had someone new on my channel who basically recommended to do contact paper that's awesome but i'm also scared about doing that because that takes like, a lot of dedication you guys and time and patience so what i'm thinking about doing is i'm thinking about staining the wood you guys that's what i'm thinking about doing i'm thinking about staining it and then putting a poly over it and i'm praying that it turns out right so um what i'm getting ready to do on this particular one you guys before i even go to the point of no return i want to see exactly how this gray looks on a piece of wood it'll give us a general idea of what we're going to be looking at and i got this right here this is an old towel i'm just going to go ahead and use it it's an old cleaning towel so i'm just going to use this to apply the stain and of course i'm going to use painter's tape to tape off so that way i can make sure i don't get any stain on this part of the counter because we don't want that and i have my sanders and yeah you guys let's go ahead and see what this thing is going to look like you guys i popped the top and this color just might work it just might work it looks just like my bottom thank you jesus it looks just like the bottom cabinets you guys if this turns out to be good oh my god i'm gonna lose it all right you guys so this is what the stain looks like applied to the wood and oh my gosh y'all baby i think we found a match let's put it up against the um the existing color y'all oh my god all right you guys so i'm going to just get over my excitement and we're just going to go ahead and jump right on into this video so you guys if you guys do not know my last sander actually broke so your girl went ahead and i got a new one and this one is so amazing so i just want to say that um listen i tried to do this with <laughs> the hand sanders but when i tell you you got to put a whole bunch of elbow grease when you're doing that listen i had to hurry up and go to the store and get the real deal sander so if you guys do not have one i highly recommend that you just go ahead and pick you up a sander of course you have to have a light hand because you don't want to sand too hard because you can um damage the wood you want to make sure you have a light hand especially with something like this but yeah that's what you guys see me doing here all right, so I'm not going to lie, you guys, as you guys can see, you see those little grooves in there? I actually had to take the sandpaper that came with the sander and fold it up and basically put it in between the grooves, if you get what I mean, so that that way I can get in there so that the stain can adhere to it. But yeah, you guys, um, the stain looks amazing. I went ahead and I applied it. I ain't going to lie, I was a little bit nervous but it all in all it turned out amazing i'm not going to keep talking you guys ears off because this is going to be a long process i'm not going to do this in one weekend so you might see me in two three four different outfits but i hope you guys enjoy and yeah i will tune back in with you guys when we're done let's get started listen to the music and enjoy
Okay, so I know you guys are probably wondering like why does homegirl have a sock on her hand? Okay, when it's saying that the reason why I'm using this sock you guys is because when I was using the um, gloves They kept ripping because the sandpaper and stuff like that and it was ruining my nails that I just got done you guys So it was taking off all my nail polish. So I was like, what can I do? I decided to go with a sock All right, you guys, so I also want to give y'all a heads up. If you do decide to go this route and use a hand sander, just be prepared for a ton of dust that it leaves behind you guys. I'm not going to lie. Mostly it's from my hand sander, but if you are deciding to sand inside the house, just know it's going to be a ton of dust, okay? It's a ton. All right, you guys, whew, so I'm not going to lie. I had to wake up at 8 in the morning, and it is now 1.30, you guys. It literally took me hours just to get this part sanded, especially with the grooves and stuff. I had to sand this side. <laughs> This side, don't mind the dishes in the sink, you guys. And oh, the way over here, you guys. So yeah, you guys, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try and get the dust off of these, wipe them down with a damp towel, and then we're gonna get started with staining them. So yeah, let's get started, y'all. It's already been a long day. y'all so i just want to interject myself real quick as y'all can see my stand it broke <laughs> it broke you guys so i don't know how i'm going to film the remainder of this video you guys but i'm going to try my hardest but i may have to cut it short or at least hold it for a little bit and show you guys how i how i stain it but i don't want to mess it up so i don't know you guys we're gonna have to see but yeah my stands broke so if you guys see that i come back up with the finished product that is because like i said it's broken y'all, sorry. And finito, you guys, we are done. Now, I know in the beginning I was contemplating, should I change it? I was sort of leaning on keeping it, but I'm not going to lie. I'm extremely excited that I decided to change them because it made a huge and dramatic change, you guys. Just check out this before and then check out the after. Make sure to leave your comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, you guys. And just let me know if you enjoyed this content. And I will see you guys all in the next vlog. And thanks for tuning in. Bye.